from our Las Vegas studios, this is Beat the Odds, sponsored by Superbook at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino, and powered by Sports Grid. Well, you got Georgia, Ohio State, some of the obvious choices. But, Jack, you have a few teams kind of lurking out there that you like. I do. I like teams to, to rise up and play better this year that maybe people have given up on for the wrong reasons, maybe injuries or other things. I also need some stability amongst the program. So I'm going to start with Clemson. Uh, this is a team that has nine winning, ten win seasons over the last uh, 13 seasons. They win a ton. They played in two national championship games over a three-year period. They didn't take anybody in the transfer portal. So mm -hmm. I feel like if I believe in what Dabo Sweeney was before all of this mayhem started, then I need to believe in him now. They don't go out other than the armed services are the only team that didn't take anybody. So I like Clemson to get back to their old form, play, get better play at quarterback. And, and you're getting some value with them because of how they played last year. The other one, we talked about them earlier, Utah established coaching staff. They're getting Cam Rising back in a new conference with a bunch of veteran older guys. That's a good situation to get themselves into the playoffs. So, and as I said, once I get them into the playoffs, I feel like I can do some things there to make money, even if they don't win at all. So Cle give me Clemson to come up and Utah to come up. Yeah, Utah is one of those programs maybe people on the East Coast don't know a lot about, but we on the West Coast, they've been good for 15, 20 years. Right, you get value because they play late at night, mm -hmm. honestly, and there's nothing real sexy about the way they do things. They just yeah. get it done and they're getting their quarterback back which is the heart and soul of that team and for what it's worth I even like Utah and I disagree Thankfully, with everything there we yeah. go <laughs> now on the flip side Teddy you're about to make uh, some Michigan and Florida fans a little mad at you it is what it is I mean you know <laughs> I, don't, I don't play favorites I graduated <laughs> from Michigan and Michigan this year is as bet against as bet against gets sorry they won the natty last year and then sent everybody to the NFL lose a head coach lose what 12 13 draft choices it's a completely new offense, new QB, five new starting linemen, new receiving core. I expect growing pains. And the defense, while it's good, I don't know if it's good enough for uh, given their schedule to expect Michigan to have a year, anything comparable to what we saw a year ago, Michigan on the way down. Florida's already down. <laughs> you know, since <laughs> Urban Meyer, this program has been in steady decline. I thought Billy Napier might be the guy, but two bad seasons and they're on track for a third one. Their schedule is absolutely brutal. When you're facing an SEC slate, and oh, by the way, in non-conference, you're gonna play Miami and Florida State, a pair of top 10 teams. The Florida, they're in for another rough campaign even if the talent level is a little bit better. Florida, along with Texas A&M, I think are two big question marks. Can't disagree with Michigan, but Florida and A&M went into this NIL deal and said, we're mm -hmm. gonna throw millions and millions of dollars at these kids. If they're able to assess talent, there's big question marks there. But yeah, certainly uphill with their schedule. Can you give me the pose? What do you want, the highs? <laughs> That's it. Uh -huh, yeah, I'm, I'm there. It's uh -huh. never. Okay, I, I should, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It